canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambain Nikolaj seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands, and especially Georgia, where President the vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian president Kumbain Nikolaj's a man with his eyes on the future. Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine and we'll be online through your earpiece and opsat. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. All right, Sam, let's get started. Can you hear me clearly? Hi there. Good. That means the implanted speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Great. Now the one on your right. Okay, same thing for pitch. Look. For another... Light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Excellent. Now look for one on the ground in front of you. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge that pool. We'll let you do your thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it.
Good job, Fisher. As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without being detected. We've got live bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. locked, Sam. You'll need to use your lock picks to get through it. next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? <sighs> So tight, that hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? Two, eight, four, six, nine. It was a pleasure working with you. <laughs> this next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner, usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. I heard you. Report and relay. Sam, that's not the purpose of this part of the training. Let's try again. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. If the meter's at four, you're lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Monitor, Sam. Let's try that again. Security cams got an intruder in the agency. 
saw you on the monitor, Sam. Let's try that again. Some cameras are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your move. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. Okay now, Fisher, let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. Good work, Sam. Remember that discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. Have you started yet? Fisher! Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA.
This is spooky. What's that? Grim sticking wires in your head, man. I just need to sync the encryption signature between his subdermals and Fort Meade. Don't like that. I know. It's for after we land. You better hurry up, Grim. We touch down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Kombe Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. We're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. <laughs> 